Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. It is Thursday. It's September 29th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. And what looked to be a range day turned out to be a big sell-off day. Uh, we took a little good bit of it back before the day was over. Actually, um, we closed down off the, that pullback right there. It's about a 50% pullback, most likely. Um, but we ended up closing down from there. So in the end, we had this two-tier channel. It really didn't do you much good. Uh, it might have helped you pick up this trade here. Um, but even then, you know, you didn't really need it. It might have helped you with these bounces down here. But on the sell-off this strongly, um, I want to look for a reversal pattern before, you know, you really have to have a reversal pattern and trend before you start trading in the other direction. So... Uh, so I don't really think um, the two-tier channel helped you that much. But this sell-off, there's been some rumors uh, with the German banks uh, having some issues and whether they're going to bail them out or not bail them out. Or, uh, and supposedly that, had, that rumor had something to do with this sell-off. So uh, either way, it's neither here nor there. Uh, You know that, but that's what supposedly generated this sell-off. So um, I usually don't worry too much about the news. Um, all we care about is the price action, and if you're following the price, and, and unfortunately, there's not really a good way to get in this. This one, I mean, this is close to being red, but generally, you're better off to wait on a lower high. We never really get one. Not one bar here breaks higher than the other one. You might have entered here on this breakout pullback short. Again, it's probably going to be green if you did. Um, I'll go ahead and mark that one because it is a nice big bearish bar as well. It's a breakout pullback from uh, those lows. but And it is off of this trend line working down through here. So um, it's a possibility there. But anyway, I'm going to back out talk about the trades. Today's Thursday. This is going to wrap our week up as well. Uh, I'm probably going to move through a little quickly again today. Um, I've got another function I have to attend. I have my son's birthday was yesterday, which I had to attend his um, birthday dinner. My son's older, so, um, you know, we don't really have little kid birthday parties for him anymore, but uh, uh, we had a birthday dinner for him, and so um, that's the reason I had to leave yesterday. But... Um, Tonight I have a friend that's retiring and they're having a retirement party for him, so I need to attend that. So anyway, rather than beat around the bush, I'm going to get moving here and um, and we'll wrap this thing up. But when I came in, we were trading down. Uh, the, tr the downtrend really started right about here, and you can see that trend working down. You get a close outside, move to a new low, and then it bounces. Um, as you Your first move down is right here, and this was your second move down. So we had pretty much a measured move down right there, and we had a nice signal ball here, and it actually went lower and turned and went out the other side, so I like going long right there. Uh, it's a little aggressive. It's a first entry. You're generally better off to wait on the, the lower high, and that doesn't come till here, but then your signal bar is too, too bearish, so you really don't want to go long right there. Um, so you get your actual reversal pattern here, which is your failed second entry short. It actually pushes through the EMA, pulls back, and it's your confirmation of the trend line. Uh, failed second entry short. Uh, it's not a great signal bar, but it doesn't have to be here. Uh, I like going long there. Um, and then it, and then look what it does. It pulls back again. Gives you a first entry, pull back a second entry. Again, not a great signal bar, but it's it's... It's a fairly bullish because it closes within a couple of ticks of its high. Uh, there's a good bit of stem there. So the, it's not a perfect signal bar, but considering we tried to go lower twice more there, uh, it's a double test of this low. Um, second entry long, it's off the trend line. There's several reasons to like that one. Um, then you actually get another shot right here, uh, a higher low. Again, a very bullish bar right off the trend line. And um, really, when it broke above this bar, would have been your signal. Actually, 
uh, it turned down here first and then went out. So I, another reason I liked entering, uh, you could have actually added on right here. I didn't mark that one. Uh, if I was already in here, I probably wouldn't add on, but if I wasn't in, I'd probably enter right there. If that makes, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, cause it broke higher here and then turned down. It looked like it might be a trap for a minute and then it turns back up. And lately I've gotten that question several times about, you know, when should you give up on a trade and exit? And I call that monkeying with your trades. I think you're personally better off to put your stop where it goes and let the trade play out and then use that for an opportunity to study it. Cause when you start monkeying around with these trades, just like right here, that looked very, that probably shook a lot of people out and all they do is they trap you out and then turn it and it goes right back where it looks like it's going to go. And if you stay in, then it probably comes down and stops you out. So you can't ever get it right. You'll pick if you start trying to pick and choose. So just do the same thing every time, stay with the trade. And only time I would say different, is maybe in this situation like right here this is a nice trap um you don't want to be trying to go long right there but a lot of people probably would and as soon as it turns up it looks like it's going and all of a sudden it just instantly reverses turns down gives you a big bearish bar that's not a good sign so you might exit there that's just a trap right there and if you and if it looks like you're trapped here's another one uh it's not a good long setup look how it broke above and then instantly turns and goes down and closes on its very low. That's not a good sign. Exit there maybe if you're long. But hopefully you're not getting wrong, long in those wrong places, I hope. so. Um, but anyway, uh, notice what happens here on this channel working to the new high. It quickly overshoots, runs right up to those highs, turns down. It's tempting to go short right there. And really you could argue for that because there's a double top, really a triple top there. Uh, and it's so far away from the EMA, a fairly bearish bar. You could argue for that on an aggressive trade. I'll give it a green one, but I think you're, when you start trying to pick tops, I think you're asking for trouble. So unless you really are a good trader and you like, and you take a lot of aggressive trades, skip it. You better off waiting on the lower high, which comes here and it's too bullish of a bar. It's more of a bullish bar than negative. Uh, but look what happens here. It pushes through, pulls back. It looks like it's going to give you a failed second entry short, but it pushes up again and then it fails and gives you that failed second entry short. Uh, look how bearish. If it would have broke lower, you could have gone short there, but it pulls back again and gives you a bearish bar. That's the trap you want. And that's an easy trap. And then it reverses. And you could actually make an argument to go long here because you're still looking for a retest of this high. So that's a fairly big bar, but notice how it breaks above and it backs up a good bit. You could have gotten filled a couple of ticks. So you really could have reversed right there or gone long. You wouldn't have to reverse because you would have scapped out of that one, but uh, you really could have gone long there if you wanted. But uh, I, normally I might even make that red, but with this overshoot here, a lot of times you don't get a retest of the high. So uh, I think you're taking a risk going long right there. We did just come off the high side too, and generally you're headed to the low side. And with an overshoot, there's a chance you shoot right down there, but it doesn't, it bounces. And um, again, you know, it's tempting to want to get short up here, but there's not really a good setup bar. And notice the new high, first entry, pull back second entry. So there's a failed second entry long there. Um, you really haven't pushed through the EMA, but it's still, you could treat that like a trap. So go, you can go short there. And here's where I really like it when it turns up and then turns back down and it actually pushes through the EMA. Uh, I, if you're already in, I'd add on right here. If you're not in, I'd definitely enter here. And you catch a runner on that one and you can ride this runner all the way down. I'd probably exit right down in here. But uh, if you're waiting on them, You know, if you're waiting on it to push through, uh, I wouldn't exit till down here because you never got another break. If you held on through this, I would have held on all the way and I would have exited on that first break higher. So uh, I don't think you want to enter in here. This one's tempting, um, but you got a little trend line right there and there's no break of it or anything really. So I just think it's risky entering right there. There's still plenty of room here, but you got a double bottom there and there's not much room to that. 
but it doesn't even come into play really. It pushes right on through and then it pulls back. And then you get a nice bearish bar here, but there's not room. So you can't go short anymore. Again, you get a break, a new low, and you get a failed break lower here. You're way away from the EMA. You've got an overshoot of this shorter term channel working down. Nice bullish reversal type bar. It's not really a bullish reversal bar. It's just an up, a down up bar. But that's a nice bullish bar. So you could go long there if you want to be aggressive. There's a higher low here that's pretty nice as well. But it's right back to the support resistance line, right into the EMA. Wait on that reversal bar. And that doesn't come till here, but you're not back to the EMA. Uh, and then it didn't break back above that bar. Um, so I think you're being a little risky going long right there. Uh, wait for the break. And it comes here, and you get a, you actually get a nice bullish bar there, but it's more down, a down up bar again. It's um, it's really kind of moving sideways here. It does hold on the support, but I think you need to wait on a higher low there, which comes here, and you get a nice bullish bar. So go long there. And if you went long here, it would have worked, but I think you're better off to wait here. And if you did get long there, I'd add on right here. Um, this one was tempting to make uh, green, but notice that trend line working down. That's the first close outside, so you need that attempt at a new low, and then it just reversed. You're also looking for a new high here, too, though, uh, but I'd wait on that second entry. And if you look here, there's a small, there is a second entry long, but it's on a smaller level, so you'd have to go to a smaller chart. So that's a, you know, I probably should make it green. I really, I struggled with that trade, but. Anytime there's any doubt, don't take it. And there was doubt there. And so I liked waiting on this one better. And I really thought we'd go back to the highs, but it turns down right here. And notice what it does. You got this channel working up. You get a break, a couple of legs up to a new high. And that one last little push that uh, breaks higher right here. And you get that big bearish bar. So you might look to go short right there because everything is played out here. And the fact that you really kind of got a conf confirmation of that trend line here, even though it didn't turn down, it's still closed inside it. And you can see the little, there's a little bit of stem that you may not can Let me make this a little bigger now, a uh, little stem and those high closed inside and big bearish bar. I still think you're better off to wait, but if you caught this and this was a heck of a trade, uh, and there is some resistance across this top, so you could treat this like a, notice, notice that uh, there's a double top there, and that's a failed break higher. So that gives you another reason to consider that with that big bearish bar. But again, you're usually better off to wait on the lower high, which doesn't come deal here, and it really doesn't break higher, but it does pull back to the trend line, and um, you can go short there. And I, I just kind of tighten this trend line up based off Price is moving down here. So, and it just keeps on moving down. Uh, you get another chance right at the trend line here. Um, but you got to go short at the low of the day, and you don't want to do that. And it just keeps going lower. There's a two tries to go higher, so there's a little double top there right off the trend line. Um, but man, this thing is so far away from the EMA. Anytime you try to enter way away from the EMA, unless there's some kind of trap or something, it's generally not worth it. And so I think you're better off to wait. And then notice what happens here. You get a first entry, pull back. Or actually, you start your low here. You pull back first entry, pull back second entry. So you get a second entry short with the trend at the very high of this trading range here. So I like that one. Comes back and tries it again. Gives you a real small bar. Uh, I like adding on there if you're not out. And if you're out, I like entering there. And when it comes back again and does the same thing again, it gives you another bearish bar. Just that many tests of that that don't go through, it's eventually going to go lower. And so this makes a new high. So there's a failed second entry long. Um, there's a double test of this level right here. There's several reasons to like that one to the short side. And just all those uh, touches across there that fail. So 
and then we finally push down make a new low we start working up never really gives you a good chance to enter here until finally you get a first entry you pull back you get a second entry it fails gives you that trap and you never know if we might get another leg down like this so uh, I like this one and look how it pushed through the EMA I like that for a short it's good for a quick scalp and that's it and then it bounces you actually get another second entry short here um, on a double top so you might even consider that one but this is just starting to go sideways so much I think I would wait and notice what you what happens it pushes down right here pulls back notice how it went right through the EMA pulls back and gives you a lower high nice bearish bar go short there and then it gives you a failed second entry long right there so go short right there again this is actually your signal bar you'll go short below that bar but your stop has to go up here and you get another nice little move down and then it bounces here's your reversal pattern it tries to go lower twice there, but this is a double bottom, so that's still like a new, uh, a new low. And then pull back, and then it shoots right through the EMA. First entry short, second entry short, fails. Gives you a fairly bullish bar, go long right there. If you catch this one, you can ride it all the way up. And notice that this is played out here. You got to close outside, then new low. You might have even considered trying to catch that run back right there. I'll give that a green one. Um, there is a failed second entry short right there, but it's right into the EMA. We hadn't, we're kind of going sideways. I don't like it. Um, but there's a double bottom here and then look what happens. So that's treat that like a new low. You're moving up first entry short, second entry short. It fails and it bounces right off of, again, you draw this trend line up through here and you just drag it down and it kind of fails right off that trend line again. I like going along there it actually pulls back again I wouldn't add on there ends up working it pulls back to the trend line yet again uh, I made this one green it's the first entry uh, but it looks like we've caught a reversal here and so you know this thing can just keep going um, but it's right into the highs it's a first entry there's really a little bit of a trend line right there there's no break of it um, several different reasons and then of course pull back first entry pull back second entry but you should have had this trend line in place by now and the fact that we came off of it uh, and this second uh, entry does not give you a very good signal bar so you're not you can't mark it but when it fails right at that trend line again um, I like going short there uh, again it's not a great signal bar you can treat this one as your signal bar but then there's not a lot of room but when it pulls back again here and fails and turns down, now you got you got a trap. Um, I like that for a nice short. And it actually it actually went lower, pulled back, and then went back down on on my chart. Uh, so being that late in the afternoon, um, you had to be kind of concerned about that. But when it closes way down here, actually just as soon as it went lower, you could have went short. Um, and that gets you into the two o'clock hour. But this one, I'd be leery a bit. There is a double top, a lower double top, so there's some reasons to consider it. So that's why it's green. But uh, yeah, this was a pretty good trade. And if you could catch this, although that was really hard to catch following the rules, um, this one is close to being red, but I still think you got to leave it green. And so for that reason, people may not have caught this move down. It just kind of came out of nowhere. There's no warning. There was no news item or anything like that. Uh, evidently a rumor got out there and some big names started selling and uh, next thing you know it's rocketing lower so uh, but if you follow the rules even if you were long here let me show you this this is what I try to tell people people will send me a question and say how do you what do you do here you get burned you can't take a big loss like that well if you're following the rules let's say you got long here which you shouldn't be anyway uh, but even if you did your stop has to go right here so the worst case scenario if you entered above that bar you only lost about four ticks worst case five worst case scenario so you don't take a big loss even though you get a huge sell-off so that's why it's important to follow the rules and generally that's what trips people up they might have had two or three winners all the way across here and then suddenly they'll hold on to a loser thinking it'll come back and not only will they lose 
give back what they had made over here, they'll give back two or three days or a week or a couple of weeks worth of profit, hoping this comes back. And notice what happens. It bounces a little bit, but it never comes back again. So you can't bank on that. You've got to exit. And if you follow the rules and exit, the worst case scenario, even if you went long there, because you could argue that there's a failed second entry short there and gone long. And I think you would have gotten, let me just see if you would have gotten out, uh, even if you'd have went long there. Somebody sent me a new, um, uh, how there's 2161. So you would have been in at 2162. And this went to, so you would have got out of that one, even if you went long there, but just assuming it was a failure and turned back down, um, the worst you would have lost there is four or five ticks. And that doesn't kill you. You can recover from that on the next trade. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. But I'm going to wrap it up for today. This is going to wrap the week up. Uh, we'll be back again to do it tomorrow. Or I'm sorry, not tomorrow, but Monday. And so I hope you have a great trading day tomorrow. I hope you have a great weekend. This is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. And we'll see you next time.